Hello everyone, my name is Richard Mel. This is going to be a video demonstration on my project called the Portable Facial Recognition Jukebox using Fisher Faces. <clears throat> now what do I mean by that? It means it is a system that it will play personalized music based uh, on a person's preferences once it recognizes their face. Kind of like a jukebox but um, with facial recognition. Uh, and actually it can detect emotion like such as uh, say a smiley face or a mean mad face and you can tell the difference between those two and perhaps play a different song. This video is going to be mostly it's going to focus on the demo as opposed to the implementation. If you'd like to know more details on the implementation please refer to my PowerPoint presentation. As of now I'm going to go over the hardware and software used. <clears throat> hardware mainly is this Raspberry Pi. It's a credit card sized um, mini computer basically. It has all all the inputs and outputs you can think of. It's a uh, 900 meg has a 900 megahertz CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, of memory, and you can see my peripherals that I've hooked up to it. Well there's Ethernet for internet but that's not required. Um, to actually run the program. So I have a transceiver here for my uh, wireless keyboard and mouse. That's a banana. And uh, this is an HDMI port for the display so we can actually see what we're doing. That's always good. Um, that is the that is actually a webcam. See? it. That's what takes the image acquisition to uh, process the face and data and then sends it here. That's the power for the the uh, Raspberry Pi. It's a 5 volt power supply. And then uh, let's see what else do we Oh, we have the standard jack, 3.5 millimeter jack that goes to this uh, speaker here so we can hear our sound. And of course, uh, light fixture because actually, unfortunately, this, this um, acquisition program, recognition program, it does heavily rely on light. Um, you can't get around that. Well, you can kind of do training and whatnot. And then the um, state-of-the-art um, fixture here to hold on to your smartphone uh, so that I can actually put this here and do the demonstrations here without actually holding on to my smartphone. I thought that was pretty cool. So without further ado, oh and then for the, as for the software, this is kind of the code here. This is uh, C++. We, I did use an open source OpenCV library <clears throat> and also SDL library. Well, OpenCV is for the computer vision, uh, computer vision processing, and SDL library is for playing the sound. Now, um, how, how is this kind of organized? I do have images here. <clears throat> you know, I, you, know I, you do have the option. I added the option to save images ahead of time so you don't have to train. Um, it's kind of creepy, I know, but that it does get the job done. I've seen you know, a couple of test subjects here, as well as myself. And then uh, we have music here, favorite music, or whatever music you want to play. You know, it's funny because I, I was explaining this project to one, a friend of mine. They were like, how, how does it know your favorite song just from your face? I mean, it's not magic. I mean, it, it, you, no, no, no. They, you, have to, you have to set these at the same time as you save the faces. So, you know, person zero, person one, person two, person four. So, it, it's not magic. You, 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 set, you set these based on a person's preferences, the uh, music. Um, these are the XML files we use to detect the face and eyes. <clears throat> and without further ado, I'm gonna run this here in this console here. This is a Linux system. Raspberry Pi uses the Linux which I had to get used to because I'm not really used to that. I did conveniently compile this ahead of time with this long string here. Um, it works. And I think I'm going to just play it because I know this works. And here we go. Let's, let's look at the GUI that pops up here. Yep, that's me. This is, this is a pre-processed face. And I'll get into that in the PowerPoint presentation. But uh, let me set this here on my fixture so I can talk better. 
Okay. Now I'm going to take my glasses off because it, it is a little better for detection. <clears throat> I want this to go smoothly. You can see that once it detects my face, I can move a little to the right, a little to the left. It will put a yellow square over my face. And then there's two dots corresponding to my eyes, or it's two circles, red, blue circles. We do use that for pre-processing. I won't get into that. I'm just more strictly for demo. This is a, a mini version of um, of this. Um, and now I'm going to load the pictures that I showed before. A bunch of pictures corresponding to different people. And now it's actually training. You see that actually it was training for a bit, and now it's done training. Now it's in the recognition mode. Unfortunately, I think when I recorded these, I had put pretty strong light on my face. So it might not necessarily recognize me right away with the sound up here. And then I'm going to bring the light over here and hopefully you can recognize my face once I have good strong light over my face. Hello Richard Mo, how are you doing? My name is Raspberry Pi, at your service. So, as you can see, I'm going to get out of the frame because I don't want it to keep running and saying that that phrase. Um, Although it is nice, nice sounding, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, so it did recognize my face, and as you saw, you can maybe zoom back, but there was a green, green uh, square over the recognized face, and did not recognize these other two girls here. So I'm gonna actually delete it all. Now I'm going to do a learning from scratch. Um, I'm gonna add a person. I'm gonna do, just do a blank expression first, and then do a smiley face um, for the second person and you should be able to tell the difference between the two and play a different song accordingly. So I'm going to do that here. So I'm going to do first my blank expression. Get out of the frame and then add another person. This is going to be my smiley face. Okay, now I'm gonna let it learn. So I'm gonna do first a blank expression. So that's Don't by Ed Sheeran. That's the blank expression. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do the smiley face to see if you can detect that. So it's it's kinda laggy, so I'm gonna let it wait till it sees me out of the frame. And then go back in there with the smiley face. And hopefully we should see the second face being highlighted. Hello Richard Mo, how are you doing? My name is Raspberry Pi at your service. Hello Richard Mo, how So yep, it did recognize me as smiling. And uh, I'm gonna delete all so that it can Stop saying random phrases. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed the uh, this demonstration. Um, I'll, I'll always uh, I'm always available for uh, any criticisms you have. Thank you.